Happy Monday, Memorial Day, everybody. Give me a couple seconds to get a couple things. Hope everyone had a lovely weekend. So far, uh, I have had a great weekend. However, it is really, really flipping hot. So, um, yeah, I, sometimes I feel like a chicken when I go outside. Now I know what it's like to get cooked. Anywho, just want to say... Um, for those who aren't out there, uh, this is a, today is a holiday here in America. Um, it is Memorial Day where we remember all of those who died in battle, both male and female, of the military forces. Uh, originally, it was a holiday that was in honor of the Civil War, um, people who died in the Civil War, and they later opened it up to um, all people who perished in uh, American battlefields and American warfare. So. Uh, I'd like to take a moment and have a moment of silence for all of the military services that passed uh, during combat uh, for the United States of America. So if you could give, please give me a moment of silence. Also, I'd like to thank um, all of our veterans uh, here in America. Thank you very much for your service. We, everyone really appreciates it, and it is not an easy life uh, being a soldier. Uh, you travel around the world a lot. Uh, you're put in a lot of really tough situations, and uh, you do it all for our freedom. So thank you very much. It is a very hard life. I've had many people in my life, both in the military and friends that were in the military, and I know it was very a very hard life, um, but they uh, they did it, and they did it with a lot of honor and pride. So thank you very much, guys, for your service. Um, this uh, next segment, I just want to say uh, thank you, everyone. This will be the last episode I'll be doing from home. I should be back at HQ for next week's episode with Jimmy Coffin as my cameraman, so none of this still camera stuff, well, the zoomings and stuff like that. So uh, next week, we will be back at HQ doing a show. And I want to thank you all for um, being in my home for the last nine, ten weeks uh, while I do these these shows. And um, thank you guys for watching. I met a lot of really awesome people here doing this show, and I look forward to meeting even more. So thank you very much, and um, be nice to be back at HQ and um, working in my office. <laughs> I got a lot to clean up. Anyways, um, got some things I want to show you guys today on the eBay store. Um, you'll see um, there's links uh, for not only just our eBay store, the Coffin Comics store, and also our uh, VIP newsletter is on there, as well as a link to our Kickstarter campaign for La Muerta Retaliation, which just started last week. So definitely click on those links and check it out, and also show you some of the cool stuff we're offering for the La Muerta Kickstarter. So let me show you guys what I got today. Um, found some really old prints from about 10 years ago. This is the Scorcher. It's a little more. Haley says hi, by the way. Hi, Haley. How are you? How's the weather in Australia? Um, one of these, this print also comes with the COA. Um, that Brian had signed many, oh shit, a decade ago now. <laughs> Next up, another one. I believe this is Witchy. Another really cute print I found digging around in the boxes. This one is also signed by Brian. A little old school COA on the back. And if I recall, these are uh, a very interesting size. They're like nine and a half by six and a half. So interesting dimensions. When I put them up on eBay, I definitely went ahead and uh, put the measurements on there for those who'd like to frame their prints. Another really cool find, I wasn't sure if this was a full set or not, but this is a complete set of trading cards of Lady Death Medieval Witchblade. Um, this is a crossover they did, and they did a set of trading cards, and this is actually a complete set of the main set. None of the chase cards, unfortunately. It was really, really cool artwork. This came out about 2000, 2001. 
from dynamic forces in comic images. Ace says hi. Ace, what's up, man? How are you? Haley says it's really cold where she lives. Can you guys send that weather over here? Cause yeah, this this um, I'll be at HQ doing some work there for a little bit, and it's gonna be like 103. So um, we started really early this summer, so that sounds like we're gonna have a long, hot, hot ass summer. I hate to say it, but there's gonna be a lot of swamp ass in the Valley of the Sun. Gonna be 115 this week. 115 for a high, my wife just said, and oh boy, I'm glad our AC works so well. Um, another really cool item I found, this is the Lady Death Hell Raiders number one. This is a raw edition. I was only able to find one of these, but these are, um, we might have available at the Lady, uh, at the Coffin Comics shop online. I was able to dig up some, a couple classics from the 90s era. Um, I found an old copy of Lady Death. This is the Reckoning number one. This is part of the Encore prediction, uh, editions where they went and reprinted the Reckoning. Oof. 69 in Salt Lake City. 69 in Salt Lake City? God. Well, yes, that's Ace, right? That's Ace. <laughs> Ace? I love you. Can you just please, please send us some, some nice weather to, you know, just give us a little break from the hell that is coming. Oh, here we go. Classic, classic, classic. Taking us back to 1994, we have the Lady Death Swimsuit Special number one. Oh, awesome Stephen Hughes cover. And I love it. It's a total wraparound cover. So you know, there you go. There she is in her bathing suit. All dead and beautifully pale. <sighs> Anywho. Other fun things um, that's been going around uh, at HQ. Um, I guess we're doing... Uh, Brian's always coming up with ideas on how to change things around the office. So... Sounds like I'll be having tons of surprises when I get back, and I can't wait to see them because, yeah, Brian's definitely always about evolving and making things different. It, it's definitely a lot of fun to go to the office because it's always like there's something new every day. All right, forgot my little sensor bar. So we have the finger bars. This is the uh, Lady Death Naughty Lace. I think I was able to get about three of these. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Sabine Rich did the cover. Stunning cover. Really stunning. I love um, a lot of the imagery. I mean, Brian tells me, he's like, oh, I got so many files of art, art, art. I could, you know, it's like he could do art books all day long and still not run out of art. There's just so much art and stuff he's held back for years. So it's always some cool stuff being found. Ace is going to do a rain and cool weather dance for us. Please do. Please do. <laughs> it, it would be really, really I'll nice. pay for that. We'll pay you. We'll pay you. Um, just let us know what type of payments you make, you, you'd like, and um, yeah, we, we'd greatly appreciate it. Julian, show us a rain dance. Show us your rain dance. Oh, God, why don't you rain? <laughs> That's basically it. Thank you. Thank you. End scene. Okay, next up I have a really, really low number one. This is a number three edition. And this is uh, from Barat Michaels. It's a Nightcrawler edition from Revelations. It's number three out of 150. And the number threes come with their own COAs. Um, Coffin publishes, uh, Comics publishes small batch serial numbered editions for collectors. Editions range from 8 to 1,500 copies per edition. The number 3 edition is the lowest number of the edition offered to the public at large. Historically, publisher Brian Polito retains the number 012 uh, for his publisher file copies, although a few have reached collectors' hands from time to time. This document hereby certifies the authentication of this number three edition, except no limitations. 
So that is also up on the eBay store. Just go ahead and click on the links, folks. That'll take you where you want to go. Also, um, there's also on part of the VIP, if you look around there on our main store page, um, we even are offering like 15 page previews on our books, so you can check them out if you're new to us. Um, just click on it, download that uh, little 15 page preview of uh, Lady Death. I believe we even have one out there for Lamorts as well, so definitely check us out. We've got a lot of good stuff, uh, a lot of stuff from high-end value books all the way to really cool collectible books. So. We have uh, price ranges uh, up from, we got stuff going from two, three dollars all the way up to, you know, hundreds of dollars for those really cool rare editions. Next up, another cool number three edition, and this was offered at uh, Emerald City, I want to say three, four years ago. This is the Emerald Creepy Crawler Hollow Foil Edition, and the green really pops on this. Really nice, nice cover by Marat Michaels. Beautiful hollow fo foil, excuse me, I have the hiccups and a burp, excuse me, pardon me. So this is available here at the Lady Death store on eBay. Oh, ugh. Might need to have some more ginger ale. Also, we have a Merciless Onslaught Chris Crimson Reaper Metal Edition. This is a metal co cover. This is an AP edition number four from Mike DeBalfo. Gorgeous piece. I like how that shines in the light. Yeah, these metal covers are really great conversation pieces to hang on your wall. Um, and like I say, this is an artist proof. There was only five artist proof editions. And it also comes with some special COA about what an artist proof is. Um, Coffin Comics published small batches of serial numbered editions for collectors. Editions range from 8 to 1,500 copies per edition. Artist proofs or AP editions range in the number from 5 to 10 serial numbered copies as a selected editions. Historically, publisher Brian Polito retains the artist proof numbers 0s, 1, and 2 for his publisher files though a few have reached collector's hands from time to time. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of these artist proof editions, except no limitations. So I really like that um, Brian really takes the time when he puts out these old, these really limited editions that he had specially made COAs for them and stickers just to show, hey, these are really special, special editions here, folks. Hi, Haley. We are actually not at home. We are two doors down at my brother's house. Yes, my brother-in-law, Billy, is letting us borrow his place because our internet was really bad today. And um, so, yeah, thank you, Billy Powell, for letting us borrow your apartment two doors down. So it's great to have family living right next door. Um, next up, I have another artist proof. This is an AP number five. This is Lady Death, Oblivion Kiss, The Metal metallic goth edition really beautiful piece I love how the red pops mm-hmm red here I, I, I really love the skull too it's just a really beautiful piece Ace says he can only imagine what they look like in person and they're very very beautiful in person. If the last book that you had, the red gloves, yeah. almost look like latex. Yeah, I mean, it's... Show that book again. It Mike almost DeBalfo. looks like real latex. It, yeah, just how they get that nice shine on that. That's what my wife Susie just was mentioning. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. And I think they have the same effect on her, her boots, Actually, too. I getting a glare from the window, oh, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's... Gorgeous piece. And, and the metal covers, um, like I say, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but they really are a really unique thing uh, for a publisher to make. And um, first times I ever saw one was working with uh, Brian and Fran at Phoenix uh, Comic Con, wow, five years ago now. Five years. All right, here's another really cool limited edition. This is the Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem Number One Le Legend Noir Mock-Up Edition. So this is the one we used in all our videos. Troy says hi. Troy, how you doing, man? 
Troy lives here in the valley. How hot is it on your uh, part of uh, the valley, man? Because you're east side, I believe. We're central Phoenix now. Yeah. There's the COA for the mock-up. Now, real quick, uh, mock-up additions are another special thing that uh, Brian just started doing. And what mock-ups are is Coffin Comics produces mock-up additions to market and promote upcoming additions to readers and collectors. They frequently have no interior printing, so a lot of them are all blank interiors, are not the final product, and are handled during promotion. Hence, they are prone for imperfections. Mock-up editions, which range in number of one to four copies per selected edition, are the assets of Coffin Comics until sold or gifted. Mock-up editions are offered as in an as-is condition and will not be reprinted. reprinted. <laughs> this document certify the authenticity of this mock-up edition. So these are what we uh, use in the videos. Um, I remember the first time uh, when Brian was doing his shoot, um, for a Kickstarter, I want to say it was for Hell Witch, and the first Hell Witch, and I was noticed, I was like, how is it you already have these editions made? He's like, oh no, it's, this is a mock-up, there's nothing inside, it's just blank pages, it's just the covers and um, an edition so they can do the videos uh, just to kind of, you know, show you what the finished product would look like by backing us on Kickstarter. Troy says it was 95 at 11, which we definitely felt. We felt that. Miguel says reading is hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck, Miguel. <laughs> smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Miguel. Yes, it's a Monday. I, 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 it's, it's hard for me to read out loud since um, it makes me nervous. So this is helping me get, break over, get over this nervousness. Um, here's another really cool mock-up edition. Again, there's nothing in the interiors. It's a hollow foil edition. This is Lady Death Heartbreaker hollow foil edition. This was uh, limited to 10 copies. I believe these were a mystery envelope book originally. And this is a mock-up. And this is the videos uh, that we filmed to show these mystery envelopes. Well, there's one of those right here. Uh, so I have one of those available. Just click on the links for the eBay stores where you'll find these items. And also you'll find other links also to the Coffin Comic Shop as well as the um, <clears throat> VIP signups and newsletters. Miguel says, love you, bud. Thank you, love you too, man. How's the foot feeling? You running around marathons yet? Now here's another really cool artist proof. It's the Lady Death Blasty Anthem Scarlet Metal Edition. I think Ace wants you to watch Reading Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I believe they're back, so maybe I will. <laughs> so yes, this is a Scarlet Metal. This is the AP number four. That is a metal cover. Really beautiful, heavy book. Um, these books could kill someone if you hit them in the right angle, I'm sure. Miguel says, run. walking but not running for a while. Well, I'm glad you're rested up. I mean, the last time I saw you, you were uh, cruising around in a wheelchair. So, uh, at HQ for the uh, Lady Death's Malevolent Decimation. I said it right! <laughs> yes! Which, um, shout out to everyone in the warehouse. They are really cranking them out. I'm sure you saw all the pictures that Brian's posted and Randy has. Just all the boxes they got stacking up and stacking out, getting ready to ship out to you guys. So thank you very much for uh, supporting uh, that project with us. Um, next up is La Muerta, which I'll be showing you some cool stuff on my phone with the Kickstarter app. Now say that three times though. Say that three times now? No. <laughs> say it three times. Well, now I'm confused because now you made me lose my train of thought. Now, now I'm nervous. Thank you. Wife's making me nervous over here. Another artist proof, really beautiful. This is Lady Death Killers. This is the Silver Virgin variant art. Or virgin. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> Vegan art. I was advised that apparently some folks uh, are offended by the name in. So uh, on here... Um, I was told to call it vegan art. I missed you up, didn't I? Did you I did. make you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> you 
You messed me up. But that's okay. <laughs> so this is the uh, vegan art cover. I can't say the other term because apparently some folks on this channel got actually a warning because someone found it offensive. So this is a vegan art. So shout out to Jen for uh, mm. teaching me that terminology. <laughs> Troy okay. says the box you're pulling is loaded with the goodies. Yes, and these, it, these are the goodies that I'll be loading up uh, on the eBay store throughout the days. Ace says we'll do a Reading Rainbow comic book edition. Ooh, can we do voices too of characters, char voice characterization? I think so. That would be fun. I'll ask Jimmy. So we'll do it. Coffin Comics Storybook Hour. <laughs> Next up, I have a BP edition of the Hell Witch, the Forsaken Scissor Sisters by Dan Mendoza. And this is a three pack. I was gonna say that it seems really thick. Yes, there's actually three editions and each edition, um, a little bit more clothes are removed. So yeah. So you get three BP editions in this one pack. And that's the complete set that Dan Mendoza did for us for the How Witch the Forsaken. Another cool mock-up. I thought this is a really great homage. Um, this is the Lady Death, Bless Me at the Homage edition, the homage to the Infinity Gauntlet. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Daryl, how are you? Good to see you. How have you been do doing, Daryl? Thanks for the shout out on your videos, by the way. I've been catching uh, notifications on those, so oh, I can't wait to see you again, uh, Daryl. Uh, for most folks who don't know, and you're here, uh, this past weekend in Phoenix would have been our Phoenix Comic Con, um, but because of um, germs, uh, we they had it postponed, so that won't be till February, so um, that's where I get to see a lot of you folks, so Daryl, thank you for the shout outs. I, I have been receiving them, thank you very much. But this would have been uh, Phoenix Cactus Con this weekend, or Phoenix Fan Fusion now? Phoenix Fan Fusion. I don't know, they change the name so often, I can barely remember what show it is. But it's always fun, because it's where I get to see all the people from around the valley, the state of Arizona, that um, uh, when I did retail, I would see them a lot at Atomic Comics, at Samurai Comics, and at Gotham when I was working at those stores here locally. So. I love cons because that's where you get to see uh, a lot of your regulars you don't see too often, um, especially those when you have customers that live in other parts of the city. Um, cons are a great way to get caught up with everyone once a, one, once a year. and it's, it's a lot of fun. Cons are a lot of fun. Two more uh, mock-ups. Um, this is the Lingerie Heaven Edition. This is a mock-up. My little... Finger sensors. Get Brian to read. And oh. voice. <laughs> that would be fun. Because he pretty much does, does that when he does the ads for the comics. Whenever he's doing his videos, it's like, oh man, he's totally in character. <laughs> and this is the Hell edition of the lingerie. And again, this is a mock-up. So mock-ups are sold as is. And these are, uh, mock ups are really fun because this is what we uh, basically get a, our props, our props we use for videos. Another really big, big BP set. This is the uh, Hell Witch, Hellborn. This is the Legend set, and it's four books. Covered by Jim Ballant. It says four editions in here. This is on the eBay store now. One of them, let's see, I believe um, they're in various stages, but yeah, you have a noir. There is a hand crafted in here. That's hand crafted right there. Each of these are all done by the same artist and none of them look the same. He'll do like 25 different covers and hand color them himself. And then also, it comes with a, yep. Then a naughty version of the legend. So this is the BP collection of the Hell Witch Hellborn Legend set. Ah, another fun one. 
another BP edition. You're going to be seeing lots of fun BPs and publisher files coming down the pike, folks, on the eBay store. Um, a lot of really cool older editions. Uh, I'll be changing some stuff up, uh, how I arrange stuff in the office. So I'm going to have some really cool books coming down the pike, and I can't wait till Brian gives me the keys. Okay, right here we have the Hell Witch. Hellborn metal cover. This is the Witchman metal edition. And this is what was offered at the uh, Fiend Fest last year. For those of y'all who were able to make it, this is the metal edition, but this is Brian personal edition, the BP. BP, can you see the BP? There's the BP. And this is a metallic cover. I really love metal covers. And I love that we just do more and more and more. And they're a lot of fun to make. A lot of fun. Oh, he's still my heart. For all you folks, I present, this is a BP edition. It is a three pack. It's the BP edition for Scorch Earth. This is a legendary set. Adam Hughes. This was perhaps my favorite cover of last year we did. This is just so, so beautiful. I just love that whole, it's very Art Deco style, just very, very beautiful. There's the hollow foil edition in there as well. And these are the BP editions. So this is right here is on the eBay store. Um, stunning cover, really beautiful cover. So again, we got a couple prints, a full set of the Lady Death uh, medieval witch blade trading card set. That's set in card number one through seventy-two. Um, there is no chase editions in there. It's just the straight um, main set of cards that I have. Excuse me while I take a drink of ginger ale. Ah, I love that ginger ale. Let's see what some other stuff. Some other stuff um, that I'll be putting up coming up. I'll be doing some of the BP editions for like Damnation Game Strike Edition. I'll be loading up some of these onto the eBay store coming up. And also, guys, I don't do too many um, uh, bid stuff unless I think it's something really special to do bidding. So most of the stuff is all buy now. So you definitely click on the links. Do some pick up some of these items. Um, just a warning: there is stuff I do have lots of stock of. Uh, I do have as many as ten to fifteen, but I do have a lot of stuff where it's like that's the last copy I have. Um, I'll also be adding a lot more inventory on there for Nick and Dent. So these are editions that are just dinged, and we're not going to be selling them at collector prices. So a lot of that stuff will be probably half price. Is there Jameson in the ginger ale? No, but damn, does that sound good. Um, I think I might have a margarita after today's show. Ace once said, when you get back to headquarters, tell Brian about Lady Death vinyl cover idea. Oh, yes, yes. Um, Ace uh, messaged that to me again, uh, too. Um, yes, yes, please, another vinyl edition. Daryl says, wow, a whole lot of special editions. Yes, um, thank you for noticing, Daryl. Yeah, I've, I've been really lucky to uh, be able to get a lot of this stuff. Brian just gives me some boxes, and he's like, here you go. And uh, I am really excited because every box is something new, and there's stuff I have never seen, and I work for the company. So um, it's really cool, like that cool first uh, jeweled edition for Coffin Comics I found that was at least 12 years old. And um, I put that up there and, and there was a heck of a, a lot of people interested in that book. So um, whoever won that auction, congratulations. That was a really cool piece of history. I got excited uh, finding that and just doing the, the research on it. It was a lot of fun. So whoever won that, you got a piece of Coffee Comics history. And thank you very much. Um, real quick here, I wanna show you guys our newest Kickstarter, Huerta Retaliation. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, I went ahead and I have the Kickstarter app open, so I just want to show you guys some of the really cool stuff we're offering for Chapter 6 of the Saga of La Muerta. And the mystery envelopes are amazing in this set. There's some really cool pieces that really pop. Um, the artists really went out of their way this time. I can't wait to see the jeweled edition that'll be coming up. <clears throat> but you'll see the link uh, in the top for the Kickstarter for La Muerta. Click on that, and I want to show you guys some of the really cool stuff that we're offering. Um, there's still another 20, 23 days, I think, left on the campaign. So there's plenty of time to, you know take a look and see what you uh, are interested in. Um, we also have the back catalog of La Muerta and other stuff that we'll be offering on Kickstarter too. Um, we're always interested in people picking up our other chapters. But right here, we're gonna be offering an original art edition. And these are really great because then you can get um, any of your favorite Coffin Comic artists to go ahead and put your own piece of artwork on there. And those are really cool, really nice. Um, those are going to be uh, $20. And everything that we offer on Kickstarter is uh, you get a free signature optional if you would like to. I love seeing you guys talking to you. Hiya, Bob. What's up, Haley? That really, that's special. I love it that you guys talk to each other. It's nice to have a little community going on here. And thank you guys for, uh, again, spending your Mondays with me for an hour. So thank you very much. Bob, good day. How are you? I hope you're feeling well, and I hope um, I hope you're having a great three-day weekend. Um, right here, this is the premiere edition for La Muerta Retaliation. This is the premiere cover. Really looking forward to reading this next chapter. And then we have, like, digital bundles. For those of you who uh, like your comics digitally, we do offer that. See there, there's the other five chapters of La Muerta that are on there. It's a really great deal, 26 bucks. Oh, this homage edition is so great. It's an homage um, done by Jesse Witchman uh, of The Desperado. Um, great, great flick. But yeah, great homage. Um, I've been seeing this sketch in the office for, it seems like forever. And um, yeah, boom, there it was. Now it's a cover. It's it's so cool to be working at HQ and you see this stuff and you're like, oh, I wonder where that's going to be. And then bam, you see the physical book and it's just exciting. <laughs> what? Hooliganites? <laughs> oh, Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> Oh, Daryl, you're awesome, man. <laughs> Here is the print selection we have for La Muerta. 11 by 17 print and a premiere edition. Wow, look at that. Joe Benitez. Uh, my wife uh, on the other side of the camera is poking and prodding me. <laughs> trying to get me to giggle. Um, it's working. And this is all on Kickstarter, guys. Um, please back us. Um, we are totally, uh, say that three times fast. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't say that three times fast. Hooligan Knights, Hooligan Knights, Hooligan Knights. Hey, I can't say that three times fast. All right. Thanks, Ace, for the challenge. This is the Retaliation Jeweled Edition. Sun K. This is really beautiful. I can't wait to see how this is going to look jeweled. This thing is going to be amazing. That is just an awesome cover. I can't wait to see this thing finished. This is going to be a gorgeous run right here. And then we have the Naughty Edition. So our song in Kate Colors did the cover of that. Really beautiful, beautiful piece. Stunning. And also on there, guys, on the website for the Coffin Comics Store, um, we've got a lot of really cool videos on there you can uh, check out, too. It's really cool. It's not just a shopping experience. There's, like, videos and everything. Malevolent decimation, malevolent decimation, malevolent decimation. Boom! I did it! Holy cow! <laughs> All right, Haley. <laughs> Who's next? Who's got another one for me? 
<laughs> I can't believe I was able to pull that one off. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> I've been having the worst time saying that uh, title since uh, the Kickstarter. God, that was back in November? Oh, God, it might be longer than that. Time just seems to have stood still. Here he goes, another 11 by 17 print in the Premier Edition. <laughs> thank you, thank you. If I had a, if I was on the other side of the camera, I'd do a little curtsy for you. But yes, thank you, Haley. <laughs> Here we go. The Deadly Duo. This is a two book set. Covers by Joel Gomez, CC Dela Cruz. Hooked on Vonnet Sworn Edition. Yes, <laughs> I think we could sell that. That'll be our next Kickstarter. Yeah, this is all here. Mystery envelopes. Okay, this is the part I've been trying to... Uh, apocalyptic abyss, apocalyptic abyss, apocalyptic abyss. Boom! Challenge accepted, Miguel. <laughs> all right, mystery envelope. <laughs> oh, guys, you are making this probably the most fun I have ever had doing this show. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you all. Thank you. Um Mystery envelopes. Now, mystery envelopes are really cool because these are editions that are super limited. These are editions that just, Brian just tips in some of the coolest stuff for everyone. So, yeah. Check out what's the Infinity Verse, which is um, right here. La Muerta from Different Parallel Dimensions. I love these these sets, you have the cowgirl, the criminal, and the cyborg. These things are so amazing. When Brian was showing me the mock-ups and the art on these, I was just, wow. These are stunning. The punk rock one is amazing. Just amazing. Look at these pieces by Joel. Look at those. Pirate. Space case. Uh, I, I love the punk rocker one. That is just gorgeous. I love the skull behind her. It looks ugh, just ugh, I love these books. I'm really addicted to these. Uh, the Wasteland Warrior. Then you have the Victorian, which is another really beautiful one. God, that would look nice jeweled. That would be a nice jeweled cover right there. And the Viking Edition. So there'll be 500 uh, mystery envelopes. And they're all random. And here it tells you right here what's an add-on. These are add-ons. These are really cool. Oh, hollow foil. It's a great image. Great image. Beautiful. This is the hollow foil for retaliation. And this is our Kickstarter. I went ahead and have the uh, Kickstarter app open to show you guys some of this stuff. Um, probably when I get back to HQ, I will be around some of those... Uh, physical copies and i'll definitely show you guys some of this stuff because this is beautiful this is the hardcover edition this is chapter sticks of la muerta just really cool and not only that our i think um our stretch goals that we offer are no one can top us on stretch goals we have some really cool stretch goal stuff here's some metallic card sets I also uploaded, uh, folks, uh, I forgot to bring them with me, but I have uh, found old Lady Death Kickstarter metal card sets. So all of the things are matching. All the serial numbers match. So I had put up a Merciless Onslaught, Apocalyptic Abyss, I think uh, some Nightmare Symphony, and I also put up uh, a couple of Muerta ones I found. And once those sets are gone, those are it. Um, that's the last of those sets I could find. Um, so those are a couple other things. Justin Hunt, good afternoon. How are you? I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day, and I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I hope it's treating you right. Thank you for joining us, Justin. All right, this is The Ground House. This is a two-book set by Dan Mendoza. Those are really cool. I can't wait to see those. Premiere, and here's a hard, uh, soft cover and hard cover bundles. And I really like, like that hard cover. That's a great pose. That's really dramatic. 
But this is all stuff that we're offering right now on our newest Kickstarter for La Muerta Retaliation. And thank you, everyone, for really backing us. Um, we can't do what we do without you guys. You guys have uh, really... You've invited us into your homes. You've invited us into your lives. And we are appreciative. And we really do love the support you all give us. So... Uh, on behalf of myself and the whole Coffin Comics crew, thank you very much. We enjoy and love you all, and we love what we do, and we love uh, producing fun books and beautiful collectibles for you guys, so thank you. Uh, also, uh, who else out there has uh, pre-ordered the Lady Death action figure that we are uh, got up on the Coffin Comics shop? But, oh, God, look at these. Here's some print sets, right? The Affinity prints, those, those oh, I can get those as prints. So, you know, if you're not sure about the mystery envelopes and, you know, you don't want to take a gamble, you can buy the uh, prints sets up here. Really cool sets, guys. This is all on our newest Kickstarter campaign. Oh, here you go. Look at this. Original art edition of Joel Gomez, mid-waist drawings. Joel Gomez will be doing prints, some original art on those. And I've seen some of those. Everyone has pre-ordered her. I hope so. Daryl, of course you did. Oh, yeah, that statue's gorgeous, Haley. Look at that. You could get an original sketch by Joel Gomez on that pledge. Check it out, guys. Beautiful piece. And then some more print editions and sets. So we have for the Mega Ballers and the Legendary sets. Those are really, that's where we really get crazy. Turbocharged tears. Turbocharged, full figured. Shut up and take my money. That is a great piece. I love uh, Joel Gomez's uh, original art covers. Uh, when I see him, I just love staring at him. Um, I, I, one of these days, I'm going to have one of my own. See, and there's all the back catalog stuff we offer too. Yeah, King Skull's pretty badass, eh? Crystal Reaper editions. Oh, these are uh, metallic sets. Mega Baller set. Check that out. Dark Reaper edition, Crystal Metallico editions. Wow. Beautiful pieces, guys. Naughty Mama Z. The Leith oh, that lethal edition is great. Elias Chet Zuda. Richard Ortiz. Man, they're just look at all these great artists doing some amazing works for us. Just beautiful pieces, guys. Thank you, everyone. And there's the legendary set right there. Only gonna be 50 of the legendary set, folks. Joe Benitez doing the cover. Look at that. Man, that is a badass cover. <sighs> Look at that. Please do, guys. Thank you, everyone, for, you know, checking out um, our stores and um, the eBay store. Um, please get tickets to Swarm Fest. There's also a link up here, too, guys, where um, if you haven't gotten it or you're still debating, get your tickets to Swarm Fest, man. Come hang out with us. You can hang out with me. Brian's going to be there. The entire coffin crew is pretty much going to be there. So, guys, you know, that's one thing that's great about our publishing company. We, um, we invite you guys into our workspace. We invite you guys into our homes because um, we're so grateful for you guys because you've done so much for us. And we like uh, you guys spreading those links, trying to get other people into our books. So thank you very much. Um, we definitely, um, there's no barrier between us and our fans. Uh, when we have these events like Theme Fest uh, the previous year, people got tours of HQ. They got to hang out and got art originally from their artists that they love. We had Yo Yo there, Balgo's there, uh, Jesse Witchman's there, uh, the great Mike Kerrigan's there. Everyone's there. And it's a great time. So um, if you're hesitating, it won't be till February of 2021. So click on the link, um, check out the prices, really great prices for a weekend and in beautiful Mesa, Arizona. There's lots of cool stuff to do around in our area. So come on out, check it out. Click on those links. Um, again, this is the last show I'll be doing from home. 
welcome you back at HQ next week with Jimmy Coffee Man as my amazing camera person. And again, thank you everybody, Haley, Ace, Daryl, Miguel, thank you everybody for watching and hanging out with me uh, these last nine weeks now. I also want to give a real special shout out to uh, my nephew, Jacob. Um, Jacob Powell helped me for the first three shows I did uh, from home. Um, he's a really great kid. He wants to get into film and he really wants to get into doing produ production behind the scenes. So um, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it and I hope to use you again so you can be my camera operator anytime. So thank you very much, Jacob. I appreciate it. Uh, again, most of the stuff I was able to show you all today was stuff that was on the eBay store. So click on the links and go ahead and find your items there. And there's a lot of things up there. There's almost 500 items. I have coin sets, I have coins, I have books and books and books and books. I <clears throat> uh, also have uh, interesting stuff like this. Uh, this is a Lady Death uh, Medieval Witchblade trading card set. This is the main set. There is no chases in this. Just the main set. A couple lovely little beautiful prints. We have the Soul Tree. Have witchy and these are nice little nine nine by five by six and a half I put the dimensions on that another really cool thing uh oh shout outs uh, Haley says she can't wait to meet a heap of you next year nice and ace says it's a family yes that's basically what we are at, at coffin we're like a family and you guys who are our fans you're our family too, so thank you very much. You're the extended family of Coffin Comics and we appreciate you all. There's also a BP edition for the Scorched Earth Legendary set. This is a set of three books with artwork by Adam Hughes. Hey, so I like you said that. Thank you very much for noticing that, you know, if we are like a family. We definitely are. Um, we all back each other up. Uh, one thing I'll say with this, um, there's times uh, with this new position, it's all new stuff to me, and I have to say I have a wonderful crew that's been helping me along the way, teaching me new things, teaching me computer programs, stuff I never thought I would learn how to do or ever think about doing. Uh, they've definitely been helping me out. And... Or he was referring to Jacob. Oh, Jacob? Maybe. Oh, Jacob, man. Jacob's a good kid. I'd love for him to come out here and work with us. It is a family for the last nine, yeah, nine weeks. It's all been out of my house. Uh, my lovely wife Susie occasionally, you know, I'm making not comments. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I also have the I wish Hellborn. This is the Witchman cover that was offered at Fiend Fest last year, and I'm getting punched in the stomach by my wife. <laughs> this is a BP edition. This all this stuff is located on the eBay store. Like I say, I've got a lot of other really cool stuff, um, and I can't wait for the, some of the surprises Brian's got coming up, so keep yourselves posted. Another awesome BP set. This is the Hell Witch, Hellborn Legend set. We have four covers by the talented and amazing Jim Ballant, including a handcrafted edition. A handcrafted edition in here. And also is a noir edition, and then there is a naughty uh, cover edition for that. Oh, Miguel said to hit you harder. You like it. <sighs> wow, Miguel, don't encourage my wife to beat me. Come on. I've been in lockdown for nine weeks, and she beat the hell out of me, man. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's a lie. I beat you every night. Yeah, she does like to give me a that's nice a, slap don't in the lie belly. To your friends. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's my wife. I love her. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> I also have mock-up editions, both a uh, hell mock-up and a heaven hell mock-up for the Lady Death lingeries. Again, mock-up editions. Um, they do not have interior pages, so I think they'd be a great way to get some original art put in those, and then you have something that's very unique, your own art book with its own mock-up cover. One of a kind, one of a kind. Another mock-up. Miguel, I'm going to get you back. Um, <laughs> this is the Bless Me Anthem homage edition. Getting a mock-up. One thing is, like I say, guys, I, I really think whoever gets these mock-ups, 
get original sketches put in these things, then it's something beyond amazing. We have the always funny, the always talented Dan Mendoza Scissor Sisters Collector. This is our uh, Scissor Sisters collection. This is three books. I really like this one. The Dan Mendoza ones? Yeah. yeah. His stuff is fun. He's just really, uh, his stuff is very humorous. It's very like old, zany looking, warped cartoons. Really warped. Really beautiful piece. J. Scott Campbell here, guys. And this is the vegan edition. This is the Lady Death Killer Silver Vegan Art AP number four. Can't believe I have to say vegan. <laughs> oh, it's both. Thank you, Ace. Oh, this this beauty, lady, the lady satanist, lady death. Blasphemy Anthem, this is an artist proof. This is the Scarlet Metal with Lady Satanis on the cover. Don McTague did this for us. Beautiful. Also, guys, we have a YouTube channel. There's a link on there. Click and subscribe to that. We did a lot of really cool um, artist celebration during the lockdown. Um, so uh, we had like uh, Joel Gomez and Don McTague doing shows with us. And you gotta check it out. It's great, great stuff. It's really neat to watch the artist create uh, right there live on camera. Another mock-up is the Heartbreaker Hollow Foil Edition. Again, there is no interiors in this page. These are sold as is because uh, these are what we use in our video shoots to present to you all these uh, cool covers that Brian likes to produce for us. Blessing Anthem, this is a mock-up. This is the Legend Noir Edition. Matt Brooks, beautiful piece. <coughs> Excuse me, take another quick drink of my ginger ale. Haley has to go, but thanks again. Bye, Love watching you work. <laughs> Bye, Thank Haley. You. Thank you for the uh, challenges, guys. Say that three times. God, I can't believe I did on, on those ones. I'm amazing. Another artist proof edition. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is the Metallic Goth Edition. This is AP number five. Gorgeous piece. Oof. Mm, that, that would look really nice on the wall. There's one thing I was always say about comic books. I used to love to get some of my favorite comic book uh, covers and put them on my walls. Just, ugh. Another artist proof edition right here, Mike DeBalfo. It's the Merciful Onslaught Crimper, uh, Crimson Reaper <laughs> Metal Edition. Why is it I can say things three times when you guys challenge me, but once it's in front of my face, I can't say it even once? Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. Another really fun thing cover. This is the number three edition, Marat Michaels. This is offered at the Emerald City a few years ago. This is the amazing Lady Death, Unholy Ruin, number one, Emerald Creepy Crawler Hollow Foil Edition. There you go, number three out of 66. Really beautiful piece, comes with the COA. All these items are on the link on eBay, so just click on the link and I'll take you right there. Last few more minutes. Another Marat Michaels popular book. This is Lady Death Revelations. This is the Night Crawler edition. This is also a number three. It's the nice little foil sticker there. And the nice silver COA that Brian had made up for these editions. Really gorgeous pieces, everyone. Thank you again for joining me. Just rehashing real quick some of the stuff I've uploaded on eBay. Thank you everyone for checking out uh, Kickstarter too. My finger singer just, I should have sensor tattooed on my finger since I forget to, <laughs> my sensor bars. But this is the uh, Naughty Lace Edition, Sabine Rich. Very, I love that skull right there. So pretty. This is Lady Death Sworn, Naughty Lace Edition. Click on the link for the eBay store to pick up these items. I think that last one was Ace's favorite. Ace's favorite? That's cool. The one before that one. 
Oh, the Nightcrawler. The homage to Spawn, number one, with ah, the crazy fingers. Um, classic from the 90s, folks, here. I wish I had more of these, but I only had the one. Uh, Lady Death, swimsuit special number one, covered by the immortal Stephen Hughes. It's a classic, guys. I had a uh, velvet cover, the red velvet cover. That is gone. I did find another copy of that but it is in really bad shape, so it's probably gonna be on the nick and dent section of the store. I sh will probably start loading up uh, once I get back to HQ and get an inventory going for you guys. So I'll have some nick and dent selections. They will be probably half of the normal price of the books. Another classic, this is the encore of Lady Death the Reckoning, number one. This is from 1996, so two years after the original issue came out. Great cover. Jason Jensen doing the inks and colors. And then I also loaded up the uh, Hell Raiders Raw. I only had one of these. I'm going to see if I can find some more and see if I can find some other Raw editions. But I do have a Damnation Game Raw too. It's a real nice black and white covers on these. And these are, um, I believe these are like chase editions uh, for retailers. So, but yeah, really beautiful piece. Hell Raiders number one. Um, so I'm about ready to wrap things up. Again, I want to say thank you everyone for watching. Um, thank you for visiting me in my home for the last nine weeks. And also, um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's been an interesting nine weeks. I'm got to admit it's it's been surreal I don't think anyone would have ever thought they would have to have a situation like that baby wants to say goodbye to everyone oh, so, and also Sylvester Sylvester here would like to say goodbye to everyone so um, yesterday uh, my brother-in-law and I did a crafting project where we built a turtle table for our living room for our three little turtles we have little babies they're only eight months old um, and they're going to grow to be about three and a half to four feet. So, um, if you're ever getting a reptile, tortoises mainly. Sulcata. Sulcatas, uh, they live to be 70 years old, so make no, sure they, you have family. 150. 150, okay. So it's a gen multi-generational pet. So it will be here long after we're gone. So this will be getting passed down from family member to family. This is our heirloom for future generations, <laughs> Sylvester the tortoise along with Kirby and Frankie who are our new additions into the house um, so yeah it's been really fun uh, it's been an interesting nine weeks I have uh, enjoyed them all this has made me feel a lot more comfortable in front of the camera uh, doing this for y'all so thank you and thank you for the support uh, all of us at Coffin Comics are greatly appreciative uh, it has been um, a lot of fun since I've started working for Coffin back in January of last year. Um, it's a dream come true for me. I have known Brian and Francesca for over 25 years and to have an opportunity to work with them. It's been great. Uh, also, special shout out to, um, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, all of you fiends who I've known from back in my Atomic Comics days. Thank you guys. I've seen a lot of messages uh, on the pages from you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for supporting Coffin Comics, and um, thank you very much for just being you. So you guys have made this show a lot of fun. Um, I've decided, so I'd like to see if this La Muerta Kickstarter, we beat the last, the previous one, chapter five, we beat that. I am cutting off all of my hair, and I am donating it to make wigs for kids. So. I want the newest La Muerta Kickstarter, chapter six. I challenge you guys to beat chapters five's numbers and I will cut off all my hair, donate it to charity for children with cancer to have wigs. So I on camera? Like this. I will do it on camera too. I will do it on camera. Will you also take a pie to the face? I will take a pie to the face right after my haircut. So 
There you go, guys. There's a challenge. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next week at HQ. Uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.